representative of the principal, Dr. Matongole, and the rest of the academia that are here with us, um, our speakers for the day, um, the private sector that is here with us, the new neutral capacities, the Minister of Tourism representatives, and the agencies, and the most important, the youth of participants. Good afternoon. I apologize for having come late, uh, but I discussed it with the, with the doctor and the team. Now, I, I'm, uh, the, the introduction was really, I've not done so much, but I think as a team, First of all, I'm glad and I want to thank the organizers of this, especially spearheaded by leadership of MOBS, right from the office of the principal to the dean of the faculty. And I think we should thank the MOBS. And the entire team, together with the ministry team, for, for, for working towards this. This is a huge number of young people in this uh, room this afternoon. And I think I've gone back now with the more interest in such activities because it's the first one I'm attending myself. And uh, I'm impressed. I've been told there's been over 500 people here this morning. And I want to thank you guys for, for coming and participating because it's important that the people in the sector share this knowledge with you. And uh, I think we should clap for Mama Mawanja. How would I be here on a business? Because, yes, I know, but of course, finally, you're still young, you'll get yeah, there. You know, I'm just sure sure. giving you the raw reality about business in this country. And, and I want to thank you for being here. That, that's what is. A lot has been said, my commissioner was here. But uh, my reality is, first of all, thank you for choosing tourism, both for education and the uh, and, uh, area of interest. And I think it's a good sector. You're back from the others. And it's a sector that gives you flexibility, I mean, to expand. And uh, I did study tourism myself, but I've been a client. Unfortunately, for me, I was in uh, Makere, but uh, we are the same here. I did something, for me, I did IT, I did something different. But I want to summarize tourism and relate it to you, the Ugandan people who want to join business and this sector. And then, of course, uh, even beyond this, it doesn't matter what you choose to do going forward. And I'm saying this because I'm still also a young energetic man in Uganda and I relate to the young people so much, entrepreneurs and the rest. And uh, there is just uh, one thing we have to do right to succeed as Ugandans. First of all, in the hospitality sector, those are the faculty, maybe Dr. can say. Really, tourism and hospitality is entirely almost a science. It is, and this is very difficult to measure, extremely, because it's not food that I will eat and say, it's this quantity that will get me satisfied, it's just how you relate with the client. Now, Ugandans, we are good at that, naturally. We, are, we actually even go beyond. So sometimes I was talking to someone, and sometimes we, we don't put a line between being professional. But that is who we are. Because the client will come to a restaurant, we serve him a uh, well, hotel, we serve him in the evening, he speaks to you well, he tips you. In the morning, now you want to treat him as a friend. <laughs> Not as a client, you're already crossing the line. But for him, it's normal to tip you and have this. But, but that is because we are too friendly. Uh, but it could be misunderstood. But there's also a line between professionalism. And, and uh, of course, who we are as a, as a people. Just uh, 
before coming here because I was rushing. I managed to have lunch somewhere in between Kampala and the uh, and Mops. I don't want to say which restaurant because you may guess it. <laughs> and after the bill, because I had my team, my driver, and the my other person in the car, and everyone was commenting about the service. I mean, right from the reception, this beautiful young tall lady. Well, I'm telling you, the service is difficult to measure. Of course, the reception was very bad. Not only for me, I think maybe I would have been biased, but from the others. And the restaurant was full of And the went on and on and on. I, 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 I may have had a terrible lunch because of the, of the reception. And that is what this is all about. Right? It's not about the English, it's, not, it's how you relate with the client. I think that's what you represent. I thought maybe as a minister, I should just go stand for system and see what can improve. I said, no, I mean, uh, <clears throat> but that is one thing that we have to do right to survive and grow this sector. Because the only way you can be successful in every business is to offer the very service you're offering over and over and over again. If I take it once and I don't want to come back the second time, you unfortunately not break the business. Because I'll not tell someone else about who you are and what you give. Then, maybe conclusively, I don't want to boy, we've already had this a lot. As, as, as a young man, especially to the young people, whether you employ employed in the business, usually, maybe the attitude. Usually, the young man has abused me so much. Especially if someone gives you an assignment. And he has paid you a certain amount of money for you to make the whole team execute. And it's a professional service you're giving. Now, the moment you pay the Uganda before the service, I want to assure you 95% is going to be a cat and mouse deal. <laughs> we'll tell you, I'm going to deliver at 10 a.m. We'll tell you then, sorry, I have a problem, it's going to come at 2 p.m. By the time you notice uh, it's now three days and there is no work and you lose the client and of course the, the, my other spiritual brothers will come and do the psychology of you that you know you're being bewitched your churches are after you come to the church and I, I go to church as well yet the actual problem is unreliability and that is why so many foreigners are suffocating us out of business as Ugandans. Especially in the hospitality sector as well. Thank God there are so many institutions doing a good job training our people, but training is not enough. The attitude is also key. That is why you find someone who has a hotel relating to. There are so many people in the private sector here. Of course, we are the East African economy, community, sorry. We are all brothers, but we find someone saying, maybe the Kenyan, maybe, I think that joke is there, because of the, of the, maybe the accident sometimes. So I encourage you that beyond the education you get, beyond this training, push the passion and the love. And the results are always there. This is the sector that is profitable. It still employs around 6% of the entire employee workforce in this country. It's in tourism and hospitality. Currently, is investing so much in tourism infrastructure. So, so I expect uh, this sector to accommodate more and more young Ugandans, but also to encourage more people to start the businesses. Mama Wanda was telling you how she started with the, the small car, and the, but there are so many incentives in this sector. If you register the person in the tours and travel business, you have a bank. <laughs> That's exemption on vehicles is only in Uganda in the entire East African community. So you can have that uh, big van at half the price if you're building your hotel. I, hopefully they told you about all this before it's okay. But my is to thank you. And uh, our commitment as government is to continue providing the best conducive environment for you. And probably make money available 
Because tourism is not a sector where you invest like a trader. And I'm going to go to China, I bring goods here, sell them after two months, I start uh, facilitating the facility. Tourism is more of patient capital. So, so, so yes, we are having these discussions and continuing to encourage governments. There is a fund in the in UDP where government contributed around 40 million and the, the European Union did around 21 billion, around 61 billion, being extended to people in the sector, some two operators, some people in the hotel sector. But of course, it's also not easy to access when you must tick so many boxes. But we are saying that the government, like you support agriculture and the rest, support tourism. We are a big employer and we need patient capital. We need someone to borrow for a hotel, to give him two, three years, because he's constructing until it's done. Or if he's buying a van, you have to market and get clear. It doesn't happen in a month. So, so hopefully, government will provide all this. And the road infrastructure and all that. But mine is to thank you. Um, the Victoria about the program we have for the World Tourism Day. And I want to thank uh, Makere University Business School and all the other institutions that are here with us today, fully partnering with us in a couple of campaigns to explore Uganda. And uh, just the video that has been played about this young man who summarized. Uganda in a, in a flash. But uh, it seemed like, uh, because the difference with him and you is for him, it seemed to be, well, he, he could have gotten the knowledge without specific, you could tell that it was a lot of uh, experience that he, he had traveled to these places, but at least he had done some research and picked this information. Now you people in the sector, how many of you have social media accounts? Yes, I should have. Everyone here has a, has a smartphone. Who has written anything to do with what is here? The, 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 the student is made. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, it's a lie. I thought to everyone who is in the tourism business, I'll say something about tourism. So, so I just want to hear it to like this young man. Please take some time out. The young people you can convince your families and then and, and travel and share beautiful images about this country. And if we agree with my team from the ministry and the leadership of these institutions, we can put something together for you in the schools and see if we can work on uh, maybe a three day. We can give you access to these parks, we can mobilize transportation for you. We may doing this privately, some investors approach us, but we can agree. We can agree as a program and help subsidize and make it, if not free, very easy for you to travel so that you have this information on your fingertips and just reading about it. For those few remarks, I want to thank. Uh, the, 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 the team, the facilitators, Derek and, and, and the, I, I think he has told you the story. And the rest of the others that are not here with us today, the private sector. Uh, thank you for giving these students internship uh, positions. And whenever you have a challenge, even as a ministry,